Let's take a look at what's new in H2R Graphics version 2.7. Lots of nice features packed into this release. The first of many new features is the rework of the whole timers functionality. So what I've done here is basically started over, rebuilt the whole thing from scratch. And if I just open up a time graphic, it may look sort of the same, but um, it does work differently under the hood. So for example, here I have a current time of day graphic. Um, I can change that up, of course, to be any of these other graphics. But what I wanted to show off was this count up graphic. And you can see here we have a new few changes to make. So I have a start time. I can start it at 0000, or I could start it at a different time, like 45 minutes, for example. And then I can set a total duration. So it will end after 90 minutes, but it will start at 45 minutes. And then from there, I can show that graphic. And as you can see here, it starts at 45 and it will count up. And what's nice is I also have the ability to pause this timer if I want to. And you can see it here pulsing as I pause it. And at any time I can resume the timer as well. So there it is resuming the time and it will keep on counting up. For all the pro users out there, you will see that over in the animated section here, I have a big timer and I now have all the same options on my big timer. So for example, I can use a two time of day countdown for the big timer. So here is an end time. Maybe I want to do 1140, 00. And another cool thing I can do on my theme section now is if I scroll down, I have a big timer option, which I can say, how I want the animation to go. So I'll just animate every second and you'll see now in a second whenever I show this what happens. You can see the circle is going round and round. And then I have a sort of 11 minute 40 second timer down to that time of day. So there it is counting down to that time of day. Next thing to show is I now have a new animated uh, option here, which is the celebration. So this is similar to the super chat messages on the uh, social graphic, but now you can just show the celebration anytime you want. So in here, I have a few options, balloons, confetti, money. And then if I just want to show that during a stream, I can just show it as you'd expect. A really cool thing in this version is the uh, social graphic now has fully editable content. So I can show that graphic, but I can also change the text. So I could send in any question here. Um, question from the audience. Uh, let me just change that you there. And so I could put in whatever I wanted here. I could show um, the author. I can also show a custom image as well. So I can choose an image from my um, media tab. I don't have any in there right now, but you can set up any custom image you want there. So for example, you could throw in a YouTube logo, a Zoom logo, or your own custom chat logo, and then show that here. And you can edit all this content. What's really cool though, is you can, of course, over in the variables list section here, um, you can actually use that instead. So for example, um, here to uh, record, or I could say uh, my question is this, and then in the previous one, I can say my question is that. So now I have this um, variable list here with two questions ready to go. Back over in the rundown, I can edit that. And just like any other uh, graphic that you could use before, I can set up my um, list 1.1. So actually I want 1.2 in there. And then I want 1.1 to be in here. So now I have John Barker and my question is that. And if I head back over to my variables list here, I can change it to be Sean Parker. My question is this. So you can now use the variable list within your social graphic to update the content. I've also made some improvements to the web page graphic in this version. So you can now show a lot more different web pages. Some before weren't working right, but um, a lot more should work now. So I'll just show here to record.com. Take a look at that. Here it is. And then um, from there, I can uh, take a look at my website, but I can also turn on this scrolling thing here. So it shows a little bar for a second, and then I can scroll to a certain point on the website that I want to show off and then turn the scrolling back off again. So that's just a nice way. It's not automatic or anything, but it's just a way of you being able to pick a certain point on your website that you want to show off and then turn it off again whenever you're ready. Next up, there are some improvements to score as well. So if I show a score graphic here, you can see that there's now up to six levels of score. So let's just turn on four for now. And I also have this delimiter option. So you can see the standard score graphic looks like that, but I can put a symbol between 
each of the uh, the score levels. So for example, if I wanted a little dash or I don't know what else you put in there, like a colon maybe, um, you can put whatever you want in there and it will show up in the score graphic as well. In addition to that, the other change in the score graphic is that you now can turn off this even odd opacity. So if I head back into the theme here, scroll down to score, I can turn that on and off. So that was just a way for me to differentiate between each one, but you can choose to turn that off if you prefer. So I hope you find that useful. There are lots more features in this release. Check out the release notes to see all of those changes and fixes. And until the next video, I hope it goes well with your H2R graphics productions.